Um, this just arrived. It's the Note 10 Plus. Uh, and I've already done a complete walkthrough on it. You guys can check out the link to that below in the description uh, for like all of the features and whatever announcements they made about it. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna do a real world test. So that means I'm gonna kind of go throughout my normal day-ish and take photos on this as well as some of the other flagships out there that are its competitors, put them up on the screen so you guys can compare them. And then also kind of check in on the battery throughout the day and see how that's doing and just kind of share my thoughts as we go. So to start that off right now, it is 8.10 in the morning, and we are at 98%. So now, let's get started on that video, but uh, first, coffee. got coffee, and I've been sitting here working for quite a while, actually. Uh, but it, it brings up something that I want to talk about on the Note 10 Plus, which is the fact that now Samsung has added DeX, which is their like desktop kind of experience from the phone whenever you plug it into a monitor. But now it works on your computer as well. I think this is valuable when you're using, say, like a portable little monitor, maybe? Maybe. But on your computer, I, I don't really see a point. I would rather just use the computer, frankly. Okay, now before we head out of here, let's check in on the battery as we do. It is 1.11 p.m. now, and we are at 75%. Uh, and let's talk about a couple of things that Samsung has removed from the new Note 10. Firstly, the saddest part, there is no more uh, headphone jack. I personally don't care. I'm so used to using my Galaxy Buds or other Bluetooth headphones, so it's not a biggest deal to me, but I know a lot of you are upset about it. Um, it is something that the Note series has always kind of been known for, and Samsung has touted against their competitors over and over again, and yet it's gone. One other thing that Samsung removed, though, that is less sad is the Bigsby button. <laughs> It's gone. It makes a lot of sense to me. A lot of people were spending a lot of time remapping it and trying to make it do other things. I think Samsung finally just kind of realized like, can't beat them, join them type of thing. It's one less piece of hardware that they have to put on here. Um, and now we just have this power button, which you can double tap and, and customize to launch Bigsby anyway. So fine. Okay, and I totally forgot, I actually have a dentist appointment. So I'm gonna run to that real quick. Okay, dentist is done, back at home. Um, I had a root canal, I had to finish like the crown, like the piece of the fake tooth that they put back on. Fun times, really. But now that that's all done, it is 4.50 p.m. and checking on the battery, we're at 44%. just something interesting I noticed about night mode on the Note 10. It doesn't have any sort of timer or progress or preview of what you're doing when you're taking the night mode shot. So you just kind of sit there and wait and hope that it ends soon. And then it actually has a progress for the saving part, like when the photo's actually done being taken, which seems a little counterintuitive. It should be the other way around, in my opinion. With that said, though, I think the night mode shots are actually more natural looking than the other devices to some degree. Okay, and while we're on the subject of the cameras, um, let's talk about the new S Pen's party trick called Air Gestures. So the idea being that you can take the pen and like a magic wand to do different things. Now the only thing that's really works in so far, at least extensively, is the camera. So you hold down on the button and swipe up 
to switch cameras. Same thing for left and right to switch between the modes in the camera. And then you can actually hold down the button and do one circle clockwise or one circle counterclockwise to zoom in and out. Now, it, it's a novel concept, but I don't think it's actually that useful. The only use case I can think of for this is like you're trying to take a selfie of yourself because you can still, as we could before, push the button to take the photo, maybe zoom in a little bit, zoom out. But I don't know, they did create an API for this. They're hoping that developers will use this in some way. Time will only tell. Okay, and while we're out here, let's check in on the battery as we do. It is 9.19 p.m. We are at 24%. Okay, so another feature that I thought was cool, in addition to all of the normal S Pen stuff that you get that we're all used to, they added one little feature that I think is kind of a big deal to me. And that's the ability to take notes with the S Pen in Samsung Note, and then you can actually convert those to text. And that makes them so much more useful. You can search them, you can export them to Word, copy and paste them into your Evernote or other note program, etc. Now it is just a software thing though, so I don't see why they can't bring this to the Note 9 and other notes, but it is very possible that they won't. Okay, calling it a day. It is 12.01 a.m. and we are at 2%. Here's the screen on time and my usage time for anybody that's curious. Okay, there you guys, I hope that was helpful. You got to see comparisons of the camera and overall kind of usage of the battery, etc. Honestly, I think it's a good note device. Uh, the battery's okay. I would say it rivals like the S10 Plus, which is not the best on the market, but isn't bad at all. The device is super snappy, as you would expect from a Note. It has a giant screen, the largest ever on a Note, I believe. And so those are kind of factors that you really think about when you want to get a Note device. The missing headphone jack is going to make a lot of people upset, but personally, it doesn't bother me that much. And um, it's not a huge upgrade, I would say, from the S10 lineup, the S10 Plus, the S10 5G, obviously. So it's not really a good upgrade if you're going from that, I think. But coming from, say, a Note 9, so long as you don't mind losing the headphone jack, I think it's a, it's a pretty solid choice. There, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the phone, of this video. If you have any feedback for me, I always appreciate that as well. I'll try to make these videos a little bit better every time I do them. But otherwise, if you like this video, thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please ding the bell next to the word subscribe and subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. Also, check the link below to subscribe to my weekly email newsletter. It goes out once a week. It has tips and tricks and other fun things that don't necessarily make it here to video, along with all of the videos that I do. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.